But LeBron has to decide. That's that's the key word. Because there is a world in which he might not be a Laker. Just putting that out there. Wendy, what do fans need to know about the decision facing LeBron and the Lakers later this summer? Yeah, so LeBron has one year left on his contract. Um, he has the option to extend, but he can't extend, in, and they can't even discuss it at all until August. So it's not an issue for the next six weeks. At that time, he is eligible to sign a two-year extension, which can be one guaranteed and one player option, which is the, the route I believe he would go. Um, obviously, I've checked in on this, and the answer I've gotten back is no decisions have been made. And that's a reasonable answer. Now, I will say to you that I don't think LeBron wants to leave the Lakers. I think he He's committed to being there. I think he gets frustrated at times, and certainly with the roster construction and moves over the last year, he hadn't liked it. But I don't think he's really looking to leave. Having said that, if he does not extend, which he could not extend for a number of reasons, we're going to have the beginning of a stress point, and we're going to be watching the Lakers very closely. Wow. I mean, just the possibility of it is amazing. So, RC, are we living in a world... Do you think in which LeBron James leaves the Lakers sooner rather than later? <laughs> well, well, here's the thing. We've lived in many worlds where LeBron James has left teams, right? We've seen it in Cleveland twice. We saw it in Miami. So from that standpoint, we know that LeBron will make decisions to pack up his bags and go play elsewhere. But I do believe that Los Angeles is the place for him. I believe he moved his family out there. His kids are thriving there. All of his businesses are are thriving and many times when we talked about his move to LA it wasn't just about basketball even though they won a championship in the bubble so to me I believe he stays in LA I believe LeBron James wants to be a Laker I think he wants to be in Los Angeles and he has a team that's willing to work with him that's willing to listen to him when it comes to which guys he wants on the team now they're strapped for cash right now they don't have a ton of cap space and they need to make some moves now under new head coach Darvin Ham but I believe LeBron is a Laker until he retires or until he He's trying to get Bronny in the league on his team. Yeah, and that would be interesting, too. He talked about that, remember, not long ago. Do you think there's a chance that he could actually leave him? You know what? When it comes down to LeBron, right, his thing is striving for greatness and continuing to add to his legacy. And if he don't see a team or uh, uh, organization doing the same thing, striving for greatness, LeBron James don't have a problem with leaving and, and, and relocating. I, I think... When you think about LeBron at this point in his career, right, we keep saying, um, you know, everything is icing on the cake and rightfully so, but he doesn't look at it that way. LeBron James still feels like he's a young buck in this league. He feels like that he has a lot more to offer, and we heard him say, hey, I want to play with Le I want to play with Bronny. He still has that, what, what is it, Wendy, uh, 40,000 foot square foot house down there in Akron, Ohio. So look, let's not act like he's just committed and in bed with the Lakers because it's not that, right? He he has already delivered the championship there. He has nothing else to prove. So what do you think they need to do what? to get, oh, go ahead, Wendy, real quick. I will just point out, if you want to have a conspiracy theory Watch the Cavs moves over the next couple of weeks. <laughs> they are going to extend mm. Darius Garland, their all-star point guard. That is going to happen. But they have a couple of other moves that they can do that would potentially eat away their cap space for next year, which is what I would think that they would do as a young team. They should never be a free agent player. But if the Cavs do not retain Colin Sexton and they do not extend Karis LeVert, which is two things on their menu of options, and they leave open their cap space in 2024 or 2023... It's just, it's interesting food for thought. Just keep an eye on that. I love that conspiracy theory. Mm. I love it. All right, so real quick, what <laughs> you, you said LeBron strives for greatness, still sees himself as a young buck. So what do they need to do in L.A. to help him achieve that greatness? Need to find a way to get Kyrie Irving. Oh. Need to find a way to land Kyrie mm. Irving. And, and, and I'm being serious. We talk about Kyrie Irving, and rightfully so, because our opinion changed based on facts. And the fact is, is that since he's left LeBron James, he has not been the Kyrie Irving that we've seen in the Cleveland Cavaliers jersey. Look, when him and LeBron James are on the floor together when they was in Cleveland in the playoffs, 39 and 13, mm. he played his most consistent elite basketball alongside LeBron James. If LeBron James is trying to win another championship, Kyrie Irving is the guy that he needs to pair along with Anthony Davis to deliver another title with the Lakers. Just the mere thought of that possibility leaves your head spinning. 
Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.